and welcome. This is Masto. In this episode, we are going to talk about timing in spanning. Timing. It is the ability that you are able to make your intended movements against your opponent's action. I'm talking about your reflexes and your reaction correspond to your opponent's movement. There's always the right time to make your move offensively and defensively in spotting. However, in this episode, I'm going to talk about defensive aspect, more like counter. To help you understand better, I'm going to make a scenario and I would like to demonstrate it. Let's say your opponent coming at you with a round down kick. Then you are planning to get away from your opponent kick with a footwork and respond to round down kick. That's the scenario. Then I'm going to divide your opponent movement in two. Part A, first part of your opponent movements can be analyzed this from here initiating their movements to complete their kick. Here, complete their kick. And part B is recover and get ready for next movement is the part B. We need to also divide your movements in two. Your movements in part A is get away from your opponent's kick or the footwork. Here's a part A. It can be hop or pivot, doesn't really matter. Let's say you got away from your pivot. This is a part A. Then part B is from here to complete your kick to your opponent targeting area. Is the part B. Now you need to match up your part A against to your opponent part A. Then your part B to against your opponent part B. This is a theory in timing and spotting. In most of cases, your reaction can be divided into three different cases. Let's take a look at the first case. This will happen quite often when you're expecting some other kick that round house kick, or while you're planning for attack, if your opponent made their movement first, you will just freeze yourself. The favor goes to your opponent. Let's take a look at the second case. In this case, you are able to make your first movement right, however, you are not able to counter at right time with a proper kick. It's just simply your opponent made your movements other than you expected, or you are not able to read the situation correctly. Alright, let's take a look at the last case. This is almost a successful case. You are able to read the situation right, and you guess your opponent's movement right. More importantly, you are prepared for it. To increase the timing, simply you just need to practice against many different scenarios other than round down kick against round down kick. More scenario you prepare, you have a more chance to win. That's what we're going to cover in chapter 7, fighting strategy and tactics. Alright, then I will see you in next episode.